Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. And earlier, I taught you how to create an ear saver. Now, we're going to add our names to it. So let's get cracking. So, of course, the first thing is you need to have completed the first lesson. If you have not done that, I will have a link up above. You can click the cards, you can get that done, and you can return to this video. If you do have it done, make sure you go to Code Blocks. Make sure you hit the gear and choose Duplicate. Do not destroy your first creation because that way you can always go back to it if you want to make something different. Friends, if you remember right, when we hit play, we get a sweet band with the cool little ear pieces on the end. Before we can modify this, we need to temporarily delete the group. We'll bring one back later. You can leave the band and we're just going to add some text here in the middle using the shapes. Here is your text command. When you drop it in, you need to type your words. I'm going to tell you for this project you want all capital letters. So I'm going to type HL Mod Tech, and then I'm going to tell you to make the height 2 millimeters. The next step is to move that up. Since it's 2 millimeters, we need to move it up 1 millimeter in Z. And then if we hit play, and I'll connect that for a moment, you will see that our design shows up, and HL Mod Tech is way too wide. We're going to fix that with the amazing scale command. Remember, wide is X. I'm going to type 0.4 because I want it to be at least half as big it appears. When I hit play, boom, HL Mod Tech fits in the middle, does not poke underneath, and has these sweet edges connected, just like that. Real quickly, let's put our create group back in between the delete objects. And we'll do one last play just because it's fun to watch that all build. And voila, you have got a ear saver with your name on it. So my friends, when you're done, if you're going to 3D print one, remember you export as an STL. If you're in my classroom, you need to make sure you find the STL folder in your quick access. When I'm at my home, I put it in the 3D modeling. And then make sure you give it a name that makes sense for what you're doing. So mine's gonna be ears, and I'm gonna put HL Mod Tech. And then I've got one more amazing thing to show you, friends. If you've got somebody else you wanna make one, or like I want one with my name on it, once again, I'm gonna do all capitals, that is important. When I hit render, it is immediately with the new letters, I can change the size, cause Mike is smaller. So I'm gonna change that to .7 and hit play. Let's see how it looks, I like that. I might be able to actually go to the full size. Let's hit play and double check how quick we can adjust that. And oh my gosh, friends, there you have it. Brand new ear saver with your name. How sweet is that? Once you're done, you can export that as well. So you're using the same code to make a couple or more sweet ear savers. This one I would name ears and I'll put my name. This one I'll name ears, and I'll just add my name so I know which one is which. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.